So this is my first dev jam and I decided to try to help out the developers as much as possible. Uh, so one of the things that you know I've experienced in the past, you know, working with OpenNMS is you know, uh, dealing with feature requests and bugs and requests and dealing with a long turnaround time, not because of the developers themselves, but because of the pipeline that they use. It just took a very, very long time to get the code to go through all the tests, get all the artifacts generated, created, and then published. Uh, so recently, OpenNMS has made the switch. They're starting to go to Circle CI, and <clears throat> I started looking at some of the build lines and some of the pipeline that they actually do. And you know, for for short, I thought I could do a better job. Um, so graciously, they allowed me to poke around this week and, and figure out what we can do. And so what we can look at here originally is our you know develop build. These are basically the build times, and on the far right, you can see that. On average, you're looking at almost four hours per run. You know, so usually what this ends up leading to is it leads to what I call, you know, fear of the pipeline, you know, for the developers, which is I'm not going to push to the pipeline because it's going to take forever and I'm just going to run my tests locally. And the problem generally associated with running your tests locally is it hogs up your box and you really can't do anything else. And so your developer starts walking around the room or going to get a cup of coffee or anything else because they have to wait. You know, unless they're lucky enough to have multiple machines. <clears throat> so, long story short, you know, I started going through and I started thinking to myself, okay, well, you know, Circle CI has a lot of great power, a lot of abilities, and I wanted to go through and figure out, okay, what are some of the problem childs that we're dealing with here? And if we look at some of the workflows, we can actually see that you know, integration tests right now take about an hour. But the smoke test is really the big one at the very tail end of it, and it's taking about two and a half hours. There is some parallel tasking engine goes and you can see the workflow here, you know, but really the goal was to take advantage of the power and the ability that you actually have. Um, you're not stuck on a, a smaller pipeline uh, such as was Bamboo. You actually now have a larger pipeline. You're actually able to do a lot more in parallel. So with that in mind, <clears throat> you know, no longer are your developers basically going to be sitting in a chair waiting for their builds to run. <laughs> So on my first few attempts, you can actually see that I got the pipeline reduced for very small builds, for smoke builds down to, from about two hours down to basically an hour and 15 minutes right here. And if we actually go in and we look at some of the latest ones right here, you can see that <clears throat> the integration job, 40 minutes. And from that's a 20 minute savings. In addition, the build job is down from 20 plus minutes to 10 minutes. I've also paralyzed a lot of the builds so that things actually run quicker and the smoke test runs a lot faster. So now you're looking at able to do light builds in an hour or less, you know, or a little bit over an hour. You know, with that said, uh, when we go and we look at like the main line builds, we're now averaging under two hours. So that's almost two hours back to the developers, you know, for them to actually run the tests. And with two hours, you know, they're no longer afraid of pushing to the pipeline for major changes. They can push and they can generally do maybe about four major pushes a day, you know, to the pipeline and get results back and artifacts back and see how their tests are going. So that's my contribution. Thank you. <laughs> Questions? Can you show us kind of uh, what some of the steps look like, like the integration steps and the timings and the parallelism? Sure. Yeah, bump parallelism up on the integrations, right? Oh, yes. Uh, so, you know, integration test, you can see here we got it 35 minutes. And it's basically going to be split across 12 instances. So the tests are actually running across 12 different VMs simultaneously. And they're leveraging uh, the previous timings for each one of the tests by class. So CircleCI actually does record all the tests that you run and knows how long each one of them took. And you can use a split logic so that it tries to even out the container as much as possible. So when you look at the timings, we'll go on this one, you can see that the variation between each one of the 12 VMs, they're very close together. So it's almost identical down the line. <clears throat> this actually helps contribute to you know, a great speed up in timing because you don't have some that are finishing in 30 minutes and other ones that are running as long as an hour and a half. You know, the closer you can get them all to run together, the better you are. And did the corporate card just fill up with the number of dollar fifty charges? Actually, the, the biggest difference between the old pipeline and this is that the runtime, if you even add up all the times together, 
you're looking at a very minor difference. And if you actually want to quantify like how much a difference it is between this one and the other one, you're talking 50 cents. Okay, so when you heard bosses, you did a lot of good things with top 50 cents. Yep. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I suppose the biggest yeah. part was I saw you had to go to extra large for the package builds. Yeah, but they run very quick and they're done yeah. with. But there's less time, so it kind of all... It balances out. So the biggest thing to look at here is even if I take the large job that does everything and I gain you back two hours, that's two hours of payroll that your developer has gotten back to actually do other things. In addition to it, the cost difference between the old smoke and the new one I ran is only a dollar. So you're really saying, yeah, I got charged a dollar difference for this, but you're giving your developers back two hours. See, the secret is that we just never run our tests. <laughs> so you're not actually saving anything at all. Nope. <laughs> cool. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, that's good. Thank you.